Joining us live in the studio is the president of Adi Care Rehabilitation Home, Eze Beronuka, and also a member of the Adi Care Home, Idris Bisriyu. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, sir. Now, let's, let's get talking. Uh, let's, let's talk about mind-altering substances, how these induces and affects or influences um, suicide and depression in, in our society as it, as it is today. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Mind-altering drugs can lead also to suicide because some of them that take this drug, some look forward to something, especially the, the barons or the ones that abuse why they still do sales of drugs. If their desires are not met, definitely they go depressed. And later end of depression actually is suicide. Apart from that, a student that has overset target, that is using caffeine, using different drugs to meet cutoff and eventually fails in school, definitely some of them come down with depression. At the end of the day, this could lead to suicide. Now let us talk about the prevalence of drug abuse or drug use, mind-altering substances in our, in our tertiary secondary institutions. Idris, you want to say something about that? Do we, do we have statistics? How prevalent is the use and abuse of drugs in, in our schools? Based on, on what is being observed and what we are seeing and as a graduate of an institution, Lagos State University, yeah. I, I see it also that is also high in our tertiary institution and we are also planning after this, our centralization in secondary school, we are moving to the tertiary institution, at least selected regionally in Lagos states also, at least we know how we are going to go about it and also take the move and, and more enlightenment to our youth because it's also, at least to, the, to my own percentage, at least, 80% in tertiary institution also. Now, now Veronica, if I should ask you this, what, what do you think, I mean, it's secondary school, drug abuse, what, what do you think is causing all of this in our secondary schools, the yeah. use of drugs? Exactly, that, that was why we, um, our target, target population was 13 to 19 years okay. of age. We find out that a lot of them are influenced. Peer they, pressure? Influen, influ, apart from peer pressure, we have influence by even the senior, the parents, and so on. Why we were in Nigeria? A lot of them ask series of questions. You could gaze that these people are somehow under pressure where they don't know whom to speak to. The environment, yes. I'm trying to talk about the environment. Yes. Peer pressure is one of it, but the environment this time around, where they stay, a lot of people do drugs there, they smoke, they drink, it becomes a lifestyle over there. So what can this little child possibly do? But to join them, if we can beat them. Some of them, their parents, be, go and buy me cigarettes or go and buy me a banner. Oh. If you don't, they might beat the child up. So how do we going to curtail this in our, in our secondary schools? Well, what should be done? Well, a lot could be done, yeah. like we have started. Okay. Sensitization, sensitization education. Education. Saying it continuously. Continue saying it. Creating it in the mind of these children that every day they wake up, even after prayer, they say no to drug. I say no to drug. When they continue saying this, over time, it will permanently dwell in their hearts that no, this thing I say, I must live up to this expectation. Yes. Now, there have been certain drugs that have been banned, like we um, codeine, the tramadol, and given a report by basic BBC on drugs. Aside the banning of these uh, mind altering substances, what, what do you think the government can do? To, to stop this trend or to curtail this trend if it cannot entirely be, be stopped? Well, government has been doing enough, a lot, yeah. though it's not enough. Just like Lagos state government gave us the audience and granted us the permission to go in. If they didn't, we won't be able to reach out to those students. Okay. That is one. There is sensitization here and there. Then another thing is enforcing on the existing law. There are laws, okay. but they should enforce and follow it up. Because many times you see them on the street smoking. What else can you do? There are law enforcement agents, not just sit in the office. They should go out, like the policemen, the last man, and so on, are out doing something. I believe the law enforcement agents do on drug. 
should send their people out for monitoring. Okay. They might be doing, but they are not enough. Okay. Now, your, your NGO, the, the Adi Care Re Rehabilitation Home, is on a sensitization program. You want to tell us the scope of this campaign and um, what, what should we look forward to in coming days and weeks and months, if I should say the whole year? Thank you for that. Yeah. The, actually, Adi Care Rehabilitation, we, we, our main focus was to care for the mentally ill okay. on the street. That is under our social support. Yes. Why we are doing this? We realize that most of the patients we give money, well, we would, what we do is to feed them, clean them up, bath them. But when we give them money, we realize they use it for drug. We now come to realization that ah, if we don't take action, over time, many people will come down to the street yes. because of drug. So we, put, we took it up on ourselves. We wrote to Lagos, they, they gave us Education District 5, which comprises of four local governments. Okay. Badagri, Ojo local government, Ajeromi mm -hmm. Feludu, mm -hmm. and Amu mm -hmm. Odofin. And each of them, we picked senior secondary from each school, 13 to 14 schools attended in all. We converged in different places. Huh? We, we, we attended to more than 60 schools. So uh, what we do is to continue saying it, and over time, like before we left the school, we, the students on their own developed a, log, a slogan. Adi care, Sin. say, I say Sin. no to drug and yes Sin. to mental health. That's great. It became a slogan. So if they continue this over and over, we are looking forward going from school to school over time, not in this form any longer, on assembly ground. Okay. While there, we'll be able to tell them about drug and remind them of their goal. But some schools requested that we should come and start, start a drama club, drug drama club. So we're still looking into this. If we have the capacity, financial muzzle to carry it on, that okay. is exactly what we are looking for. All right, Veronica, Ad Eze, and Idris, Bishri, you from the Adicare Rehabilitation Home. I want to say thank you for what you're doing to sensitize and educate the public on the use of drugs and abuse of drugs and more, more grace to your elbows, yeah. I will say. Thank you're you, welcome. sir. Thank you.